Okay, so the way this trick works, uh, you're not allowed to mix the cards. Uh, you'll see that every second card is a nine of club. Now in your case, it might be a different key card, but every second card should be the same in the packet. Now you'll find some instructions inside the packet, take those out and throw them away, you won't need them. Uh, now every second card in this packet, being a nine of clubs, is cut a little bit smaller than all the other cards. Now you probably won't be able to see it on the camera, but if you look at your pile and you make sure they're even, you'll notice that the top card is a little bit smaller than all the others. Oh, every second card, sorry. So if I flick, and flick the card this way, so the way you do that is just hold your hand out, put the cards on there, thumb down the bottom of the cards, like that. Top of the cards, you put your three fingers just over the top and just let the cards drop one by one. Now in actual fact, they're dropping two by two. That's because the short card is landing directly on top of the long one. Now if I flick in like this, see the six? If I drop that, you'll notice that it's not a six, it's an actual nine because that's falling on top of the other one. Now if I flick in backwards, all you're gonna see is the nine of clubs. And make sure you put a nine down here. I'll show you that later on. But uh, flicking backwards, all the same. Flicking forwards, they're all different. Now, a few different tricks you can actually do with this packet. Um, as you bring out the cards, I always put the top one back in, slide it back in, take out all the cards, and now there's a nine of club in the box. You show someone that the cards are all different. Now when someone, you ask someone to put their finger in there, now wherever they put their finger, it doesn't really matter because they're gonna put it on the top card, which is gonna be the short one because the short one is always landing on top of the long one. So once they put their finger in, tell them to take their card, do not put this back on yet. So they take their card, they remember what it is, they put it back where it was, not to mess the order up. Put this on top, now you can do your magic gesture, whatever it may be. Now flick through the cards, and they won't see their card in here. That's when you say, look, it's gone back in here. And that's one trick. Now you could, when you bring out the packet, you could put this nine somewhere else. You could put it in the corner of the room, under the table, in the fridge. It's limits it to your own imagination as to where you're going to put the extra card. Okay, so once once you've done that, um, there's actually there's another good way of opening the trick. You could say to someone, look the cards are all different, now I'm going to get you to put your finger in there, but before you do, I'm going to guess at what card you're going to put your finger at. And obviously you're going to say the nine of clubs or whatever your, set, your key card is. So obviously mine's the nine of clubs, they take it and they look at it and they're surprised that is the nine clubs. Okay, so another trick you can do is put the deck on the table with their card facing up like this and get someone to cut the packet. Now when you get them to cut the packet, always get them to cut the packet long ways, not sideways. Because long ways, they always leave behind the small card because it's too small to pick up with your hands. So if I turn over this nine and I put all these on top, I tap the top one and I say, look, your card's come back. Now they think their card's come back, but obviously it hasn't, it's a duplicate. Uh, and you could do that again. You could even do it like do it yourself and just put a few cards on top and show them that it's come back again. Put a few more, put a few more. You could even tap this one and say it's come back here. And eventually someone's gonna say you got more than one nine, but as you can see, show them the cards and they're all different. Another cool effect is where you can change the card in someone's hand. So when you cut the packet, remembering the nine's always on top. Now if I try to grab the nine with my thumb and my middle finger like this, it's impossible. I actually grab two cards because the top one, the nine being a nine, is too small, so I grab the second one instead. So I get someone to hold out both their hands and I say to them, okay, I'm gonna take this five of spade put it back on top, now grab the nine, which is the top card, and place it on their hand. Get them to put their other hand on top of it. So once they've got it closed like that, that's when you could say to them, you do that on their hand and get them to turn around the five, or what they think is the five, and it's actually the nine of clubs. There's a few different variations you can actually do with that. 
So just use your imagination as to how to come up with uh, different variations of your own. Uh, another cool effect is get someone to pick a number from 1 to 10. Uh, let's say they pick number 7. So what you do is you get them to cut the packet. Remember, cut the packet this way. And you ask them what number did they say, and they said 7. So I know the 7th card from the top is going to be a 9. So every odd card. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so again, if they pick a number four, what you could do is you could go one, two, three, four, and then say the next one's your card. So you'll never lose doing that way either. Um, eventually, someone's got to say there's more than one nine in the packet. That's when you can say, I'll rub the, or that's when you obviously show them that there's not, but you say, if I rub the nine on the top and the bottom, look what happens. And then you're just flicking backwards. And then you could cut the packet again and just show them that it's a normal packet of cards. And that's the way you do this card trick. Have fun, practice heaps, and enjoy.